I've been playing Final Fantasy 14 on and off for a good four to three years now, somewhere in between. I've only recently dived really deep into the game within the past year or two, but regardless, I've still been playing in some way, shape or form. Actually, this is one of the games I have made a mental note to try to stay away from because I have a bad habit of when I get really into this or anything for that matter, that's all I focus in. And as it shows on my uploading schedule, it's kind of happened again. But you know, this is a game for me that is something I play when I'm a little down bad. Everybody has that one game when they're, you know, you got real life coming at you in a certain aspect and you just want to get away type beat, right? Before it used to be Minecraft for me, but Minecraft over the years just became something I don't care for anymore. So I kind of accidentally dive back into some actual heroin. Final Fantasy 14 is a game that can go on forever. I'm not even done with the main story yet. And I've managed to do so many things that have accumulated 1,100 in some change hours. And I still, to this day, don't understand how I'm not done with the story yet. How I like to play this game is every expansion that drops, including the main game, there's a plethora of new content. And I like to do everything that it had to offer before I go on to the next piece of content. Now I have officially done almost everything that I can do in Stormblood, which is the second to last expansion leading up to the current expansion now, which is Shadowbringers. Now I did come up with a plan of how I want to show you guys Shadowbringers gameplay stuff, but I'll talk about that towards the end. Today, the main thing I just want to talk about and show you is the grindy content and everything else that's side content related that I do that has racked up all those hours, how I spend my time and just addiction in between. <laughs> Anyways, without further ado. Now there's three tiers of grinding that I'm gonna explain in this exact order. The mount grinding, if you don't know what a mount is, let me quickly show you. This right here, something you ride. You know, I have like my favorites, old reliables on the side, but I have like a, quite a few compared to most that's been on this game. This ain't nothing real crazy. There's some mounts that you can uh, grind for in a very boss rush type of map. Then you also have the weapon grind. Like for instance, this weapon right here, this would be considered a relic weapon. Every expansion has a legendary weapon, if you want to call it that. You can only get these weapons as well by grinding for it. And then there's this armor. Now, this armor and this armor were obtained in the same manner, but in how I went about getting this, actually scratch that. We're gonna save that towards the end to explain this step to get the armor, which is Eureka. That's a, a whole different conversation. And I'm actually, this is kind of an ongoing thing still, which I'm gonna explain like discords you have to join for just to finish it in its full entirety, et cetera, et cetera. It's, it's a little bit detailed, but to put it in 30 words or less, Eureka was a pretty cool experience to play with friends, but it's a little bit hard to do now in 2021. The content came out like what, 2018, 2017, uh, maybe even 2019, but Eureka all in all is pretty rough. One thing about the mounts, as I said in passing, there's some mounts that you can grind for in a boss rush like manner. Along with relic weapons, every expansion has a legendary mount. And how you obtain that mount is doing something called trials. I said boss rush manner because in these trials, you essentially fight a boss. In this case, we're fighting Susano. And the reason why I'm showing this and another fight after is because up until this point, these are my favorite trials in the game. And hopefully when you see some of, uh, I guess the mechanics you have to do in these fights to those who are new and uh, don't know anything about MMOs like that, you can see the other side that exists to MMO that's really fun if you stick to it, um, et cetera, et cetera. I'm not gonna get too much into logistics, but this, these are my friends. First and foremost, everybody here for the most part are the people I've been playing with, getting to the, the mounts and Eureka, everything I mentioned previously. <clears throat> Anyways, watch this. Um, my tank is on, is it not? Yeah, no, but you're getting dying. ready for the I got this. Mechanic. You'll be right. Wait, this is, they're doing it now? Yep. Oh, it's all right, yeah, and this is, is one of my favorite fucking parts of why I like this boss fight, bro. I actually never did this as a tank before. It's a oh, lot this, of pressing. Uh, yeah, it's a lot of pressing. A lot of pressing. And oh, no, I got this. This is light. <laughs> okay, hold on. This is kind of a lot of pressing, low key. So I just, I just hold this, right? Y'all do. Sh okay. Oh yeah, y'all do. Y'all do your part. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. Oh again? <laughs> Wait, you're dying? I, I, I have my head off. I can't see you. I don't know what's going on, bro. Oh, you're gonna live. You're gonna live. You're gonna live. Just gonna, just like, oh, I see that. Yeah, y'all were dying. What the hell? Oh, true, 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 true. true. <laughs> now nah, we good. You look good, bro. You look good. Yo, this not gonna go away. 
Oh, we can walk past them. Like, yo, we can. <laughs> I got scared. I said, oh no. Wait, wait, wait. What did I? What did I? What did I die? What did I die though? Hey, yo, so continue on tech stands. I guess what I will say to people that don't know anything about this game. There are roles. Blue would be tank and red is DPS. Wait, get away tank, from me, Scar. Tanking the damage ah, oh, and DPS oh, doing the damage. As you can I see, died. we're missing a healer. And to do this extreme, I guess where we're at, it, we, we kind of need that. So I just really want to show you that mechanic, honestly. When you do end up beating um, dude, you get dog. And then once you get all of them, then you get the legendary mount of that expansion, which is Stormblood. This one drops this whistle particularly. I already have it, but I just really want to show the fate for the thing. Oh, Scar's good. No, wait, no, 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 uh, now, no, uh, yeah. now no one can get the second I'm pretty one. Sure it's, I'm pretty sure it's only like... Oh, two, you're three, right. Two, we had the... Yeah, yeah we died. Yeah, I forgot about that. We I died. Died. Oh, oh, wait. Where are you going? Don't go over there. Why did you oh. touch it? <laughs> he dead, bro. Yo, we got this. We got A.O. A.O. Roach, I'm sorry, bro. I just wasn't thinking. I just wasn't okay. thinking. I was on autopilot. So essentially, um, every... Uh, trial has mechanics. There was one mechanic that we just didn't do. We have to split up and take the hit separately. We just all got hit, and that's what we do. No, I, I, if I, when I get pulled, I, I can basically live off of that. Oh, true. I just can't heal anybody after. Okay, okay. All right, this is the Ferozzi's one. I was so, bro, I'm tired of this, bro. Yeah, nah, talk that talk, shit. What did he talk, do to bro. you? Real talk, bro. What did he do to you? He shot his laser blast at me. Bro. What are you finna do him, about it? Oh, hold on, I don't boy. even much respect that, bro. You see this spear, bro? I'm finna jump in the air, and I'm gonna give it to him. Oh, uh, guys. Oh. Uh, Scars? You about to jump in the air, right? <laughs> Scars? Ah! I'm not gonna lie to y'all, bro. I. Right? For some reason, I, I don't remember that part ever being that hard and extreme, but there's a regular version of the fight as well, and that's what we're doing real fast too. I just want to show you this one mechanic He's that this lying. shit has. He's Bro, lying. I don't, someone's selling. He's Somebody's lying. selling. Yeah. Wait, did, did, did he, did we have to kill him in the normal? I don't remember. <laughs> nah, you just you leave the dog. No, yeah, okay. Leave okay, got you, got you. Anyways, when you take care of his right oh. arm, AKA Tony the Tiger, then we go into oh. a phase that threw me back the first time when it happened. It was just very, oh. I can get behind oh, you for oh, just to be cute. <laughs> One thing that I like about Paladins, they have this move. If you get behind them, oh, it didn't really do shit. You suck. Yeah, what the f <laughs> <laughs> But now uh, the dude gets up and he just kind of pick up our body. If you die in this phase, you just lifelessly be oh, falling God. down, oh, bro. Hey, it is very. Hey, don't even worry about it. Example? Oh, y'all want an example? No, because I got to put my, my wings back up. Bro. <laughs> now, unironically, you did die like Ella at this part. Bro. Shut your ass up. <laughs> hey, I'm saying, bro. Nah, so then you dodge. Um, oh, wait, wait, wait. They actually come into the center. Yeah, then he comes in the center. You gotta go in here. And it's head first. Yo, go get him. Go get him, Scar. Actually, don't go get him, Scar. Don't, don't, don't get me. Road treat. Yo, exile. Hold my hand. Exile. Hold my hand. That nigga dead. Come get me, bro. Hey, you got I can't heal him, man. I got you. I got you, bro. Hold on. I can't oh, I really you, pick you, you up, bro. You're gonna need to man. figure that out. Wait, 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 Scars. What no, the wait. f? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not, I'm like, I, he was already <laughs> ahead of me. <laughs> Where'd you? Move, please, please. Move. What are you doing? I need to tell you something, Scars. I need to tell you something. <laughs> That's a different breed <laughs> of playing a bird. Oh, Scars, Afro, I need to tell you one last thing. Yeah. <laughs> What's up, bro? Along with the legendary mounts, you have uh, this one, which is a little different. I don't think there's any other mount that quite works like this, where essentially you have to beat it 50 times to get it. <laughs> but um, I, I guess I can show you the mechanics of that real quick, because it's actually really cool. Just like in Monster Hunter, the knowledge of how you need to fight Rathalos comes from paying attention to what he's about to do next. You have to observe when Rathalos is about to charge, breathe fire, hit you with a tail whip, all that stuff. And if you do get hit, sometimes you get stunned, just like how you would in Monster Hunter as well too. So that's something you have to watch out for. You have a special action in this fight to use a Mega Potion, and that is in the extreme version, which is the hardest difficulty of this fight, your only way of healing. In phase two of the fight, you have to kill a monster and then hide behind it while Rathalos does his thing, and then proceed to pray as you watch his movement so you don't get smacked up. In the end of the fight, you actually carve his uh, tail and his, his scales like you would in Monster Hunter as well too. And it's just really cool. You get like a little palico as well. So along Along with grinding for mounts, the other grind I mentioned was the weapons as well. There's a tier list I would give from worse grinds to get a weapon to not so bad. The base game's relic weapon, uh, 
this which is this one that i have is definitely one of the more tedious grinds can, uh, of them all uh there's one phase in particular that i can just show <laughs> and maybe with explaining it you you know how bad it can be this step in particular is called trials of the braves something to that notion um i believe the whole concept is derivative from final fantasy 12. within this step you have a whole bunch of monsters to kill all over the map you have a whole bunch of dungeons to do you have some fates you have to wait to pop to do that take time you have to wait for those to come up and you have some levies which is another form of quest i'm not going to explain it just know this is a lot and there's nine of these books that you have to do one at a time and this is just one whole step there's still more that you have to do that also involves getting money collecting other things that hopefully someone got you if they don't good luck Nick. 30 words or less eureka pain suffering despair eureka it's a catfish in the best way that could like the worst way it could be done like as soon as you walk into eureka and you kind of understand the basics of it how you have to kill enemies to level up do fates to bring in more experience which is something you learn more about a little bit later on bro go hit that nigga, bro all right but Right. Looking at you, point, I ain't never been yeah. Sure, RP walked to that. Nigga. All right, you're fine. Yeah. Eureka consists of four islands. If I can talk to dude, first island is not bad. This is the second island, though. This, this by far tested my endurance as a gamer to every notion of the word. But TLDR, once you get to the fourth island, finish the story and some prerequisites, you're able to buy the armor and get the weapon I mentioned previously. I'm actually not done with Eureka as of yet. Now, uh, going back to my previous statement with mounts, there's one last mount that I need to grind for. With mounts, weapons, Eureka, there's also raiding. Within beating Eureka, once you get past the story that th there is to be had, you then get to the hardest raid in the game called Bardessian Arsenal, right? If you finish this dungeon, you get a mount that is really cool, but you just have to finish it. If you never did it before and you're not good at following directions, hey, me, it's really hard. You know, I, I should have kind of studied it beforehand, but you know, when Dragon Ball Z where Gotenks fought Majin Buu for the first time and he got fucked up, that's kind of where I was. I had to go to a whole Discord with a bunch of people I didn't know just to hear these call outs. I mean, they were cool people. I, I, it sound like I don't really, I don't know. They weren't really talking about nothing besides well, game actually, shit. If you're driving a Tesla, you can put it in auto cruise and just take it down. And car, yeah. but whichever. They have these groups. Once the, the clock hits the, the time, then uh, you have to try to get in. When you see this screen, it means the lobby is full. I, I thought for a second I was too late. I didn't know what the to do. I'm like, all right, well, I missed out. But then luckily, group three opened up and I'm in there for real. You feel me? I'm just like, okay, I'm gonna get this mount, baby. In this map, there's something that spawns every time without you having to do something to cause it to spawn. The boss called Avni, right? Once you beat Avni, which this is what it looks like giant jellyfish probably smells good right but you you fight avni you beat avni and there's portals that are going to spawn around the map you have to hold a portal and jump into the portal and you get to the raid now the problem with that method is someone could steal steal your portal uh they call it getting sniped someone could just snipe your portal and you can't get in because once that portal's used it's gone you have to go find another one but because we're in like a group organized instance everybody got assigned a portal so if someone snipes you you're done so anyways uh i got assigned this portal over here and i was i was chilling for real i'm like okay okay i got it i had to wait now i did one thing that was embarrassing it, it was the start the, the tone even for this whole entire raid uh, i should mention one thing i do not like doing is making other like hurting other people's progress right i don't like being put in a situation where i feel like i can let somebody down especially in a game right it's just something sometimes i don't care if it's people i know but if it's just a bunch of randoms i'm already uncomfortable especially that everybody's talking and shit. i didn't want to be that guy but i became that guy anywho portal opened up i jumped in i'm like you know what game time baby we in there i find out that you're not supposed to jump into the portal so early so i'm already looking fucking weird i'm the only one in here waiting there was a buff i had to grab i didn't even grab it because i thought it was a race it wasn't a race i'm looking dumb as hell frame one but it's cool i wait a little bit a little bit a little bit a little bit and then they start to show up i'm like okay you know what i was a little bit early but that's because i'm that guy for real right I'm going to explain this. Maybe never. Just know these right here save my life more times than I can tell you with my hand. 
but regardless we had to separate so one group goes this way another group goes the uh, adjacent hall i was the one going east not west and yeah let's fast for a little bit um and then we proceed to go down the bardacian arsenal uh there's a lot going on in this in this dungeon that is not as simple as what you're saying you don't even know what you're saying most likely because there's a lot going on i understand if you don't know mmos if you don't prep and come prepared you can just die walking to where you gotta go uh we get to the first boss essentially this isn't hard in nature i don't like saying that because i know what happens to me inevitably you just really gotta know the mechanics for real and you're good to go now this being the first boss you would think this was light i'm re i'm looking at myself in cinematic mode i'm really feeling myself for real uh how this boss works essentially it, they, they explain it beforehand uh it's just call outs running out of the aoe's to not get hit uh there's like a javelin throw he does you gotta make sure you go inside to avoid those whatever the heck it's pretty light the only misinterpretation I had was I could have sworn I told I, I thought I heard dude say hug the spear. So here I am when the spear shows trying to hug it. I didn't even check frame one the comparison for me to everybody else. But nobody is hugging it but me. Nobody even said anything. I heard hug. Then this is great. He told me to stop moving. But the me stop moving fucked me up. So I don't. I, I, only person that dies out of everybody on this section, by the way. You're gonna hear someone laugh if you hear it real closely. Hold on. That was something. One thing you just never, never, never do when you die in Eureka as a whole, because Eureka is demonic. As Roach said, it's a catfish. In every other piece of content, if you die and you go back, you're fine. But in Eureka specifically, when you leave, you level down now you're supposed to wait for someone to heal you just know i'm a goofy listen hold on uh, don't return out yeah don't okay. return out we can sack oh my ah! it's the second hand embarrassing wheeling his way back in my body again bro watching this back it just hurts it, looking at this screen the ellipses saying damn dog your ass that's how this fit Ugh. so when you die um there's one or two things you can do you just quit <laughs> or you try to get your level up real fast and you prepare for the support event that happens on the outside of the raid because there's a portion that everybody who's on the outside has to kill these these mobs to help everybody in the inside uh or they can't get through i think i think that's how that works but if you participate in that event to help the the raid you have a chance to get back in the raid and participate where they left off and that's exactly what i did the event popped this is between me getting my level back to 59 to 60 again. The event popped like around, around here, maybe around here. Some, yeah, right here. He killed this thing. And then I had to look for a portal all over again. Anywho, portal came through. I came back in like I never left, like I never left. And we went to this dude. Now, I don't even know what went wrong here for real, but I know how it felt. So essentially he has a gimmick where uh, he has like a bracelet that goes black and when it goes black you stay away from the white puddles there's some other things to it or something like that but essentially it's a game of going on the opposite color of the color that he has as long as you do that at certain increments you're fine there's a part two where there's like oh i think i missed it and the mechanics don't really matter for real because once we get to the end you see that i'm just not that boy how did i die i don't remember and i don't want to go back but i'm not the only one dead now, me not being the only one dead makes me feel a little better. But what hurts in this scenario is you never you ever seen like or ever been in the situation when you're uh, uh, getting picked for dodgeball in school or something like that. You don't want to be the last kid that gets healed or gets put on the team. <laughs> yeah, I'm the last person that gets healed in this scenario. And it makes me think that they know I'm ass. They know that I haven't been performing well. And like, I can see him thinking, we don't need this dude for real. <laughs> <laughs> Nevertheless, they bring me back to life. How, okay, so let me explain the unorthodox method of how they have to bring you back to life, right? So this thing right here, it has a 70% chance of healing you when you die. You have a healing skill that essentially sacrifices your life to heal someone else. And you have to have this on at the same time. So hopefully the 70% brings back the person that saved you. And it's just a process of gambling until maybe you bring everybody up and that's essentially what happened uh he died and came back as i said i got lucky enough because i i lost early on that i skipped 
a lot of the actual dungeon. It's not really lucky because when I go back in here, I'm not going to know anything about those fights unless I look it up, which I'm going to. But this we got to the last fight. Now, this is the mount itself, the mount that I want. You fight it and then you get it. The thing about this, which if you want to see, because I'm going to do this again and in a more detailed aspect with my homies as well, too. I will live comment and stuff like that, and I'll let you hear them explain the mechanics, but we're going to set that aside for 15,000 likes, right? For now, just know there is a few mechanics in this boss where if one person messes up, everybody dies. He changes shapes, right? When he changes shapes, you're supposed to do a set number of things. It's only crazy on the outside end when you don't know what to do, right? It just looks like, how do you remember this? But we have a dude calling it out actively, and he was really helpful for real. It was really helpful. Even though he's not talking, I raise the volume up. It's fine. This part, we have to go on the things because if you get sucked up in that little black hole, you lose. Just frame one. You're done. There's a part where there's the, the there's these dudes right here, right? You have to kill them. If you don't kill all of the, the dudes, you die just like this. So if one person messed up, which is what happened, you just lost half of the entire group. Once you lose enough people, uh, yeah, the raid's pretty much over. There's nothing else you could really do. <laughs> well, I mean, to everybody else who was still there, they just died. Yeah. Uh, with that being said, I still need to get the mount. I want to know what she's doing, but that's not my business. I still need to get the mount. And I also kind of, if you guys care, didn't really explain in depth why I hate the second island and what really is Eureka in regards to my experience and a little bit more words. So that would be its own separate video. And I don't know if you care for that. So 15,000 likes would be the goal for this part two video. And as for Shadowbringers, the goal is to stream it, but that may or may not happen because quite frankly, there's way, way more games in my backlog that I need to finish. So if you really care for that, let me know down below. Uh, I'll tweet if I started on my own or if I'm going to stream it. So follow me on Twitter for all the information. And as of now, I, if you like more Final Fantasy content, just let me know down below. Scars, oh, put your main clothes. fit back I got on. Oxygen. Put your, Scars, put your main fit back on. You know, like the, the red one, the red one, the red one. The, oh, oh, oh. Iron Man. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yo, yo, hold on, hold on. Whip out, whip out your yeah, mount real fast, Roach. I need to get an opinion, bro. Which one, bro? You, you know, know the one, one, bro. I don't you even need to say that. You know which one, bro. Oh, uh, no. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Stop playing with me. I'm so <laughs> cool. Oh, my. Talk to me nice. That even oh. know you really be out Yo, here with that Get your stag out my face, bro. Get your stag out my face. Hold on. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Hey, how much you pay for that, nigga, bro? Play with me. <laughs> Full breed. <laughs> Full breed. <laughs>